in this video we are going to start um, looking at you know how how to go about making a nice fuel map a little bit of theory behind how it should look you know what should be happening things to watch for um, you know it, it looks it looks a little raw right now um, but uh, whenever we're done with it it'll look pretty nice and um, I'm, I'm gonna go back to the thing I said in the first video if you guys are having problems to this point okay if if, if you're your you know your AFRs are really weird or you're you you know you haven't hooked up your map sensor right and you know these things I've covered in every single video to this point if you're still having problems to this point everything from here does you no good it does no good at all everything to this point you should be able to start your car it should idle relatively well I mean at this point depending on how much time you spend on it should be really really nice you should have your injector set up right you should have your map sensor set up right you should have all of your sensors set up right everything should be wired correctly you should have gone over your motor mechanically um, you know good vacuum uh, you know no no vac leaks um, you know solid fuel pressure all the, all that kind of stuff because um, if, if you've watched my previous videos you're already starting to understand how quickly these maps start laying on top of each other I mean j just for example you know in our, in our last video we started looking at um, you know um, start graphs uh, you know the, the, the start maps and just looking at this right here you guys that have watched my video know that there's already two or three maps um, playing into this already like just by looking at this you already know about the boost compensation table and if if your air intake temperature is adding or subtracting on top of this or um, you know a, a, a few other things going on and then once you start looking at coolant temperature there's you know additional percentages based on coolant to um, uh, to, to, the, to this whole graph whether it be more or less or something like that and then on top of those you've also got additional fuel tables for extra fuel after start for a certain period of time um, so n none of that really is going to affect um, too much of what we're going to do here but y you can start to understand how if you have one area that there's something wrong or not making sense it it, it, it's just a domino effect. Everything else just starts acting funky, it's not reading right, and you start chasing your tail and scratching your head, wondering why is, why am I having these problems? Well, it comes down to just the the bare essentials. But enough ranting. Um, here we go. So you've noticed, uh, you guys should already have an understanding of this. On my previous videos, you understand how the boost compensation table works, um, how it adds or subtracts fuel based on. Uh, you know, a, a boost or, or, or vacuum, um, you know, pressure above atmospheric and, and then uh, below, things like that. So this line right here um, is basically, it's, it's, it's representing one PSI, okay, or to the, kill, to the KPA guys, a little over 100 KPA, okay, 105 KPA, something, 103, something like that. Um, so what we're, we're looking at is everything above this line right here is all in boost and it, it's flat it's basically flat and capped off because um, the boost compensation table basically takes over so as you're going up in boost along this okay the boost compensation table is doing the majority of the work here okay as far as percent of fuel added on top of this f base um, value, which is calculated by a few other things, as you guys know, um, and then it's adding on top of that. So, what what we're gonna do um, is uh, it's, we're basically gonna do a cell by cell based tune. Okay, so you're, you're, you're going to start driving the car on the dyno or whatever it is. And what I'm going to do is just kind of go through what would be a pretty generic type looking um, map. And I'm going to just start, uh, you know, copy and pasting some of these values here. Um, just to try and clean some stuff up 
to make it look kind of like it should. We'll interpolate these guys. Um, we'll add some in here. Kind of make it nice and linear. Okay, we'll do the same thing here. Oop. And there's faster ways to do this. Um, and if you guys are still way off, go back to my first video or you know one of the earlier videos you guys know how to add fuel fuel percentage just select the whole thing and add you know what another 15 percent fuel or something like that raises the whole map up by 15 percent um, which is you know gonna completely change all of the work that we did for idle because now these values that are in the idle area are now totally different so now your idle is gonna be different so I'm just using that as an example of you know, if, if you wanted to select, you know, certain parts, let's see, let's undo what we did. And if I wanted to select, you know, just this whole section of the map, say it was still lean, and I wanted to add, you know, 15% fuel, you know, I could bring it up, you know, um, and then, you know, make, make everything look uh, relatively uh, according. So I'm just throwing in really... Um, generic values here. You guys will be doing all of this on your own. I'm just trying to come up with um, something um, to show you guys what a finalized product could look like. Okay, and it's going to come up and make, uh, let's say, peak torque here, uh, V for a vertical. Say it does that. Let's raise this up a little bit. And then we'll do this guy. Okay. And then we'll do this guy. And again, I'm just making very generic changes to give you guys a look at you know how quickly you can do some of these things. And just to keep things simple, I'm actually going to set all these the same. Okay. So, you know, this this could be what your map end up looking like. Probably not. But, you know, it might be depending on your setup and, you know, your, your, your peak torque curve and things of that nature. Um, so you could end up looking something a little bit like this. You'll notice what I've done is fuel is uh, the amount of fuel that you need, like, is increasing as RPM increases. Now, why does that happen? Because as you you will in in almost all cars, unless you're dealing with you know like a larger displacement engine, seven liters, you know, big LS motors with boost and all that kind of stuff, on most Supras, um, especially Nissans, Hondas, you'll reach you know a uh, basically what uh, like a, a peak torque point where proportionately speaking you won't be adding any more fuel like you'll notice it, it comes up it starts at three comes at three six three seven three eight three nine four and then it stops at two it caps at two and then it starts coming back down so you actually start pulling fuel as you increase rpm um, this is because you're actually uh, without doing about another ten videos on this um, just take my word for it that you're 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 passing the peak torque curve and you're going to be using proportionally less fuel because it's it's not needed and that is a very 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 um, uh, generic way of looking at it um, I'm just trying to give you guys a good handle on um, how your map should end up looking in the end something semi similar to something like this your fuel increases comes up to a peak torque kind of falls back down okay and then you know over here you've got very flat idle parts you guys that have watched my other videos already know why these values are the same and kind of how this um, this area looks and why it looks that way um, don't worry about too much of this stuff down here uh, you can 
you know, you can make it up here. Um, you can pull it up here just to, to, to keep the graph pretty, but you never really see these values down here so much. That's a lot of vacuum. You might on some setups, and if you get, you know, really bad backfire, um, you know, on like hard D cells or stuff, um, or, uh, you know, th those, those particular cars that for whatever reason pull a lot of vacuum, very, very strong vacuum values, you might need to look at these and actually have them you know, be, be close to, to what the rest of this stuff is um, up here, or relative, but in a lot of cases, this bottom road doesn't really mean a lot. Um, <coughs> something else you'll notice um, as you guys start tuning, um, the best way to go about this is to run spring pressure. You know, um, and this is something that will be covered in the next video, but as of right now, all these trim tables, all these boost values, you guys should have all this turned off right now, all of it. And you want to do your first few pulls, okay, on whatever, you know, if, if you're running a one bar spring, you know, you're 15 PSI or something like that, so you're in this area, okay. Um, if you guys are running, you know, like a 0.8 bar spring or 0.5 or something like that, you guys are closer down to around in here, okay. Um, you'll want to get these right first, okay? Number one, because it's a good safety approach. You're not throwing crazy power at your motor. And the thing is, is if these are right, if you guys get this, this curvature right here, peak torque, and then as you pull out in the RPM, you get a very flat AFR log. You guys start looking at your logs and it comes up and it's 11.3 right here or 11.5 or whatever. And it's a solid flat. 11.5 just flat as can be through all of this it's a very good log you guys are happy with your AFRs if it's right here okay it's going to be very 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 close if not dead on the entire um, rest of the map all of that will all be the same you don't have to change anything what you'll end up changing is over here in the trim map go over here to the boost fuel trim Okay, this is your boost compensation table. And you will notice like, okay, everything's right at 10 PSI. Um, I'm gonna clean this up just for you know safety's sake, just to you know make it nice and linear. Um, let's say everything's right at, at these at, at this value right here, okay? And then um, over here, you're you know maybe five ten percent wrench or five ten percent lean. Well, all you really need to do, go up here to the this is your percent added on top of this graph, this whole graph, okay? So, I'm gonna go back over here. Why is that always show up? Um, and you, you can change just this one point now, just this one point, raise it or lower it until you can do that, that same pull again and without changing anything in this fuel map, you have now got a, your, your desired um, a, 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 uh, AFR log and you're hitting what you want. I'm out of fuel, I'll continue this, or I'm sorry, I'm, I'm out of time, I will uh, continue this, um, this discussion in the next video.